Tonight with an update on a story we brought you a few months ago. A grandmother injured in a hit and run in June has died. Meanwhile, the search for the person who hit her continues. Channel 6 News reporter Imani Payne joins us now. And Imani, how's the family holding up? Doug and Leslie, the Griffith family is devastated by the passing of grandmother Elizabeth. But with no arrest made in the case so far, the family is left looking for closure and justice. I gave you the opportunity back in June to come forward and you did it. So now Natalie Griffith wants justice. Natalie, her two young kids and Natalie's mother Elizabeth were all involved in a violent hit and run in Gerald back in June. Natalie and her kids suffered minor injuries while Elizabeth was in the hospital for three months. She passed away last Friday. She was a good mom. She was a good grandmother and she was a very dedicated and loyal friend. Because of her, I know how to be a good friend and because of her, I know how to be a good mom. And those are two things that no one can ever take away from me. Gerald Police Chief Roger Thompson says while there hasn't been an arrest made yet, they have identified a person of interest and continue to gather evidence and talk to witnesses. He released a statement saying in part, the Gerald Police Department officers are saddened by this loss. The department completed the bulk of the investigation and submitted it to the Williamson County District Attorney for possible submission to the grand jury. Natalie says her and her lawyer will meet with police and the district attorney next week for an update and that she wants this guy off of the streets. And if they allow people like this man to be out on the road continuously and not be punished for what he's done, they're going to hurt multiple other families. She hopes sharing her story will encourage everyone to be safer on the roads moving forward. Anything can happen in the blink of an eye, so always be prepared when you're on the road because you never know whose life is going to change, yours or someone else's. The family plans to lay Elizabeth to rest this weekend and say they want to thank the community for the outpouring of love and support they've received. Chief Thompson says the driver could face a charge of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Anyone with information about the crime is asked to contact Gerald Police. Doug and Leslie. All right, Imani, thank you very much.